And when when did you get your hope back? When your feet were you filled? My feet started wiggling, and then this kind of thing took over me one day, where I just thought, I'm not being beaten by this. Like there's absolutely no way at 20 I'm going to be in a wheelchair for the rest of my life. So there was just something that snapped in me one day, and uh, I used to just because I couldn't move, so I just used to spend absolutely just hours and hours and hours in visualization of of being able to walk and run and dance and do everything that I could do before. And then from then on, I was absolutely convinced that I would walk out of the hospital. Like, there's nothing that anybody could say that would make me think otherwise. Um, I think that was just my way of coping with it, but I was just absolutely adamant. So. Um, and what, what, what did the doctors say? Were they surprised that you could walk again? or Massively surprised, because it was the surgeon said it was the worst back break he'd ever seen. And I heard him saying that, you know. So, um, no one was, I, I, it's really, it was really sweet. I, he, um, he came back after two and a half months of surgery and no one had told him anything, he'd been away. And I was sort of lay there and he came in and he was like, so is there any improvements at all? And I was laid down and I started doing like bicycle things with my legs. And he actually looked like he was going to faint. He stepped back and he was like, I just don't, I just don't know. He, he couldn't, like, he just couldn't believe it, you know. Um, so that was such, a, like, an amazing moment. Because he was kind of like my hero, like, he fixed me. Like, he's like a superhero to me, you know. So it was so great to do that, yeah. you know. How important was music in, in those months? Was it important or was it something that you couldn't think of? To be honest, like I didn't, the whole thing to do with music, it was just too painful. I didn't want to, I didn't listen to my album for months. Even when I got home, I just wouldn't listen to it. Why? Because it was just, it was just, it just angered me. It, like, it's like everything had been so easy and now, now this has happened. So I just couldn't, I couldn't listen to any kind of music. It just hurt. So yeah. I just used to watch like my numbingly boring television. It's like a zombie like that. <laughs> what was the first time that you actually could listen to your album again? Um, it took a couple of months, probably about f four months or something. And I put it on and was like, mm, not bad, me. <laughs> yeah. What did, what did this experience bring you? Everything has happened from the record deal because you were saying you were an angry teenager, then you had a record deal recording, everything was well, you were on top. And then you had, uh, well, uh, the accident, it was mm. really painful. What, what, what does it do to you? What, what are your thoughts now on further life, on your music career? Um, it changes daily, but it's, it's something that's just constant. It's like a, it's, it's a con because I'm not fully recovered, so it's a constant thing on my mind. Yeah. It, doesn't, it doesn't ever leave you, it's kind of something that's always going to be there. Um, but it kind of keeps me rooted, because um, sometimes you can get a bit consumed in this kind of thing that's happened to you, start thinking why, yeah. and you get a bit like bitter and angry and that kind of thing. So, um, but I'm, I just try and draw the po positives out of it because that's all you can do, really. I'm very lucky to be able to walk, so I remember that when I start getting stressed about my job and think yeah. it's all quite futile, really. Think about what's important. So it's brought me that, which is really amazing, I think. Well, the album is called Last Question. The album is called Through the Night. Um, it's also a song of your album. Why did you pick this or this title to be the album title? I picked that because it was the first thing that I ever wrote with anybody. It, it, it kind of runs a thread for the rest of the record, so it's just a good... Um, yeah, it was the first thing. It just was like a sentimental reason, really. What, what is the song about through the night? That's she basic, you know, teenage angst, unrequited. <laughs> of getting obsessed with somebody. You know, that kind of obsession, you're like... And they don't know you exist, really. We've all been there. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.